India has started a test run of a new nuclear power plant. Local residents oppose the test. They are concerned about the plant's safety after the Fukushima accident two years ago. Officials of Nuclear Power Corporation of India said one of the reactors at the Kudankulam plant attained its first criticality on Saturday. The 1,000 megawatt reactor in Tamil Nadu state was built with technological support from Russia. The corporation says it will continue the test run for a month before connecting the reactor to the power grid. The Indian government plans to build around 20 nuclear plants to address serious power shortages. The United States and France have signed separate nuclear cooperation agreements with India. Japan and India agreed in May to speed up negotiations to sign a similar pact. The operators of four Japanese power companies are trying to get idle nuclear plants up and running again. They've held their first meetings with regulators in charge of screening applications to restart the facilities. The utilities are seeking approval to fire up a total of 12 reactors under new safety standards that took effect last week. Two of those reactors are at Kyushu Electric Sendai plant in Kagoshima. Kyushu Electric officials told members of the Nuclear Regulation Authority about new safety measures at the plant. They discussed preparations for earthquakes and tsunami waves and explained plans for a temporary command center for emergencies. The Sendai plant is near several active volcanoes. Regulators said they need to check whether the plant would be vulnerable in the event of an eruption. Representatives from Hokkaido, Shikoku and Kansai Electric also explained the steps they have taken to increase safety at their facilities. Experts are saying that cleaning up radioactivity in Fukushima Prefecture could cost $50 billion. That's more than four times the amount now allocated. Decontamination work has been done based on radiation level. The central government is responsible for cleanup in the Fukushima Prefecture no entry zone. It's also subsidizing the work in other areas. The government has so far allocated about $11 billion, but it hasn't made clear what the total cost might be. Experts from a Science and Technology Institute have studied the costs. Their estimate for the no-entry zones is about $20 billion. In other areas, they say it's $31 billion. This includes the cost of handling and storing radioactive waste, such as contaminated soil. The government should study the costs before deciding whether to complete decontamination or reallocate the money to help people rebuild their lives. She also says the government is doing the work without considering the expectations of residents.